We've set up some basic organization on our site using views to create areas that list all of our articles and all of our reviews. But what if we want to create something a little bit more interesting, like a list of editors choice guitars based on our reviews. Before we jump into views and try creating a list that picks out only specific reviews, first we need a way to tell Drupal, to tell the system, which of our reviews are marked as editor's choice or are considered to be editor's choice. Let's go to structure and content types. What we need to do is add a field to our review content type that will designate whether it is an editor's choice or not. Let's click manage fields. The trick is we want views to be able to create this list automatically based on certain criteria rather than it be a list that we manually add and remove items from. So on the review content type, we're going to add a field. This is going to be a Boolean, which basically means an on or off checkbox. We'll label this editor's choice. Save and continue. Only one value. And by default, we're going to leave this off because we're going to assume that most are not going to be marked as editor's choice. For the on label, let's just write editor's choice and we'll just leave off for off. Save those settings. And now with that done, if we go to just our admin list of content right here, it lists all of the content on the site, pick out whatever is the top review for you on this page, go and edit that. And if you scroll down a little bit, here at the bottom you'll see now we have an editor's choice checkbox. Let's go ahead and mark this one and say, yes, this is an editor's choice. Before you save it though, let's give this one an identifiable brand. Let's say Gibson. And for the model, let's make this something actually readable. We'll go with the famous Les Paul. Save that. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for the second review that we have on here. Edit this one. Scroll down. Market editor's choice. For this one, let's give it a brand. We'll go back to Fender for this one. And go with Japanese Stratocaster. I think it's ER. Save that, and let's just do one more. Make sure you're only selecting reviews. Whatever the third review is on your site, pick that one, edit it. We'll do the same thing here. Mark it as editor's choice. We'll give this one the brand Taylor. And I don't know what they call their acoustic guitars, but we'll just go with some, I think they number them, so we'll go with something like EC210. Let's save that. It'd be nice to have four of these, so just have one more readable one. Let's go home first. Pick your the Fender American Stratocaster article that we created at the beginning of this. Edit that and just scroll down and mark it as editor's choice. Now we have a few guitars marked as editor's choice. Let's make a list of these using views. So go to structure, scroll down to views. We're going to add a new view. We'll call this the editor's choice view, as you could probably guess. Only of type review. And then we're going to set some further specifications once we get into the full view edit page. We'll say we want to create a page for now. It'll be called editor's choice on the path. Let's remove this weird hyphen right there that was replacing the apostrophe. And we're not going to use teasers. Let's go with an unformatted list of fields. We're not going to just use the title. In fact, we're not going to use the title at all. We're going to pick out specific fields to use here. And let's say we want this to show on this page. Uh, 10 is fine. And then we can page over to other pages. We'll save and edit, even though we don't have 10 of these yet. So now we can dig a little bit more deeply into this view. Let's look at our filter criteria first. This is going to be the main part of this view. 
We want to keep these two criteria. We want to make sure we're only showing published reviews and that we're only showing content of type review. There's one more filter criteria we need to add. This is what we created our editor's choice checkbox for. So if we type in editor's choice here, we'll get our editor's choice Boolean field. Let's select that and apply. This again is saying that we're setting up a filter criteria based on this field. And we only want to include reviews where this field editor's choice has a value equal to one. When you're working with checkboxes as we are, one means it's checked, zero means it's not checked. We want to include the checked ones. We'll apply that. Then if we scroll down, you can see the preview here. We should see the four articles that we recently marked as editor's choice. Let's save and then do one more final thing for fields. Let's just use the brand and model of the guitar. That's all we're going to list on this list. So let's search for brand. Here it is. Check that and then model. There we go. And notice that when you remove the search here, that just filters it down. It keeps everything that you've already checked. This is just to help you find fields and other things in this list. We'll apply that. When this field shows up, we don't want to create a label. Let's say for the brand, we're not going to link this to the content. The brand will just kind of be some extra information. We'll link the model name to the piece of content, to the review itself. So leave this unchecked. Go ahead and apply that. And then for the model, which is what we're working with now, we will link the model value or the model field to the piece of content. Let's apply that as well. Let's say we don't necessarily want to include the title of our review in this list, just to make things easier to read. So we will remove that. And let's switch the order of these. So click on this arrow, click rearrange, and we want model to be on top and maybe even let's go to settings for the fields let's select both of these so that they'll appear in line with each other for each given review and we'll separate them with a space and a pipe character this is the shift backslash if you're not familiar with that apply that now if we scroll down to our preview we have a nice little list of our editor's choice guitars, the American Stratocaster by Fender. Probably should have put a space on the other side of the pipe. That's all right, we could fix that later. Save this and take one final look. In fact, before we do that, let's add this to a menu very quickly. Normal menu entry. You can probably guess the menu title is editor's choice. Main navigation. We'll give this a weight of maybe 10. So it'll be closer to the end, but not at the very end past about. Apply that. Save your changes. View the page. And we might want to do some styling here, but we have a list exactly how we want it. All of the editor's choice guitars. The EC210 by Taylor, the Les Paul by Gibson. We can click on any one of these to view the full review.